I think the right to vote is inherent to our democracy. Yes, even for terrible people. I'm going to get me um, a beer. You know, would you, if you could, would you take the wall down now? Here. Yes. Like you have a wall. Absolutely. Knock it down. Well, I, 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 I'm knowingly violating the rules. Okay. Senator Cornyn How many times you out for it? How many times I, I you learned? Tell us, sir. I tell you what the deal was. I, I did not. Um... Welcome to the Democratic Party. President's longtime advisor, Valerie Jarrett, saying President Obama has been scandal free for the eight years he's been in office. I will say that the thing I'm most proud of, Jake, is an administration now that has uh, been historically free of scandal. What did you say? Not one single whisper of scandal. Not one. I am extremely proud of the fact that uh, over eight years, we have not had uh, the kinds of scandals that have plagued other administrations. <laughs> An ambassador is killed, U.S. embassies under siege as protests spread across the Muslim world. Should U.S. intelligence have seen all of this coming? You know, we have no uh, information to suggest that it was a pre-planned attack. What we do know is that uh, the natural uh, protests that uh, arose because of the outrage over the video. Again, we no. were misled that there were supposedly protests and then something sprang out of that, an assault sprang out of that. And that was easily ascertained I, that that was not the fact. But, but, and the American know, people could have known that within days, and, and they, they didn't know that. With all due respect, the fact is we had four dead Americans. Was it I because understand. of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? Just, just apologize for your failures. And again, it's, it's that attitude like Hillary Clinton's that that, that is just disgusting people, and, and that's why we're supporting Donald Trump. It is called Fast and Furious. It was supposed to help in the crackdown on drug violence across the border in Mexico. The secret law enforcement program allowed criminals to buy guns so government agents could trace them to Mexican drug cartels. But the operation was botched, a U.S. law enforcement agent killed, and Republicans in Congress say the Obama administration is trying to cover it up. This is one of the saddest days in my six months in Congress. It may be the saddest day. There's no attempt at any kind of cover-up. We're not going to be hiding behind any kind of privileges or anything. President Obama today for the first time asserted executive privilege to shield Justice Department documents dealing with what's become known as the Fast and Furious scandal. The lack of transparency with respect to a dead Border Patrol agent is sickening. This is a big scandal. People who have screwed up will be held accountable. It's believed more than 1,400 weapons are still on Mexican streets. Since I met you. Republican leaders are demanding a full investigation of the Internal Revenue Service after officials admitted targeting conservative political groups during the 2012 campaign. Subsequent to the original story, we had an admission from the IRS that they in fact made these decisions. Guilty! This is extremely troubling because the axiom is the power to tax is the power to destroy. I don't care if you're a conservative, a liberal, a, a Democrat, or a Republican, this should send a chill up your spine. Not one single whisper of scandal. Not one. This is my last election, I believe. Yeah. After my election, I have more flexibility. Yeah. Yeah. I understand. I transmit this information to Vladimir and Mr. Uh, remember eight years under President Obama? I don't want it. I don't want it. Man. There wasn't one iota of the president's administration, scandal free, by the way, in terms of the president. That's not true either, is it? Is it? No. An FBI informant says Russia routed millions of dollars to the U.S. in an effort to buy influence with the Obama administration and with Bill and Hillary Clinton. Secretary of State John Kerry, meanwhile, has been asked to testify in front of the House Oversight Committee to explain what 
went into this deal and why it wasn't in fact discussed with Congress. We're probably the first administration in modern history that hasn't had a major scandal in the White House. Not one yeah. single Tell me I didn't do the things that I did. Tell me you didn't order me to do the things that I did. Tell me it didn't happen. Please say that you'll be mine.